I've always been a repair over replace, but you okay? Good. We good. We good. <laughs> Did you break something? Yeah, my ass. Bypassed it to get it by. Uh, that one compressor was bad. The other one started cooling and then it started hissing. So it might be bypassing inside or something. You know, that compressor just so sounds shot. I'm like, okay, the, the coil is falling apart. I opened up the blower motor. It was all moldy and crap. I was like, I think this one deserves a new new unit. So that's that's where I drew the line. Yeah, like this about it. That was, and I told her, I was like, this thing's on its last leg. Like, there have been um, times in a situation something similar to that where I had said, um, I don't think it's ethical for me to do this. It's it's not et ethical. And then like it, it's your they're they're just I, I've learned the hard way. They're just gonna say that it was your fault. Right. Yeah. You put in the compressor and then something else happens because and you already knew that there was a leak or something. They're just gonna be like, Well, you you know, it was working or it's under warranty or whatever, you know, they're gonna blame you. Oh my god, I get that all the time. You just installed a new system, it ought to be under warranty, and I didn't do nothing but change out a condenser fan motor. <laughs> you did the whole thing. Um, but they I think have that in, I have that in my warranty. notes. That's one of my topics in my notes. What's that? That's one of my topics in the in my notes. Because <laughs> uh, we have uh, we have a customer that's going to be on uh, on a, on a maintenance agreement. I think next week. Uh, we're just like turning into a whole maintenance company at this point, and everybody's been going for for it lately. You need to hire so, somebody now, huh? You might need to hire somebody. That, that's another topic on my list. <laughs> um, I, I'll, I'll I'll refer to that when I get to the call we had on Monday. But um, this customer, I've been telling them right, like I don't we haven't cleaned out those coils and probably like years right so like we're trying to tell them like well they need to be cleaned out you're getting high head pressures you're getting uh they're tripping out because of the heat wave that comes through right and i'm like you're just calling me out to do a cleaning and then like do a full check like everything's adding up when we could just be on the roof doing the whole maintenance you know it benefits them right and we find anything else wrong with it we'll, we'll you know write it up or fix it but uh they 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 try to pull that on me. They were like, "You were you just cleaned them. You were just here." I was like, "No, the hell not!" Right. So now that I do YouTube and I'm I'm trying to get into the company cam thing now. I haven't downloaded it yet, but I want to try it for this reason because I take a lot of pictures, and I I started uh, putting the location on like on my iPhone, right? So I can go to a picture, see the time, date, and location, and that's how I keep track of everything that I do now. So I want to try to do the company cam like for the uh, other guys, right? Have them all like upload whatever they were doing for the day uh, to company cam or whatever. But I went to go look through my photos and it had been like two and a half years since I did the last maintenance on it, right? I was like, sure, I had just been here. It was two years ago, dude. But they love to pull that on you. Yes, they do. Or somebody will tell you, um... You just installed it. Everything should be under warranty. They don't think they should have to pay anything. And yeah, we've had to make four, that clear. And it's been four years. Yes, your parts are under warranty, but yeah, you still got to pay me my labor. Yeah. Yeah, we had that issue when we started. Like everybody wanted everything for free. 